Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Kawarizmi bin JT and I'm the leader of this group. Our project name is Cloud Carbon System. Alright, uh, the Cloud Carbon System is a crucial step towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goal 13, uh, which we call is SDG 13 of com combating climate change by monitoring uh, by monitoring carbon dioxide emissions from 30 large factories in Penang, Malaysia. The system will aid the Malaysian Ministry of Environment and Water in their efforts to amend a healthy environment. The implementation of cloud carbon is expected to have a positive impact on the overall air, air quality in the region and contribute to Malaysia's goal of sustainability. This project highly highlights the importance of innovative solutions in addressing environmental issues and promoting sustainable development. Okay, our system objective is to develop a monitoring system that is Equipped, equipped with some sensors that can detect the emission of carbon dioxide gases through the chimneys at factories. Secondly, to design a person, personalized dashboard that will alert the user if the industrial facilities emit an excessive quantity of carbon dioxide. Thirdly, to design an application of software that provides significant information to the Ministry of Environment and Water, top, uh, top management of the company and user. And lastly, to develop an information section that would continuously update it new eco-friendly material is available for users by factories across the nation. Okay, we break down our system module into five uh, modules, which is factor, factory monitoring, factory management, authority supervision, eco-friendly material management, and that's the administrative admin, reporting. Okay, uh, for the project risk and feasibility, you can see this is our list of the project risk and feasibility. Uh, you can uh, read it later. Okay. Next is for our project activation schedule. Uh, the first for uh, first week we have eight use case. For the second week we have uh, five use case. For three weeks we have six use case, and four weeks we have five use case. For work breakdown structure, uh, since we have uh, similar work breakdown structures, so we just provide one uh, WPS, uh, as you can see on the on the slide. And the last part is a uh, chat. And yeah, this uh, for module one, factory manage management for use case diagram. We have uh, three actors, which is factory manager, Ministry of Environment and Water, and the system. For class di class case diagram, we provide six. Uh, we provide five features, uh, which is operator hours, machines, factory, CO two sensor, and broken sensors. For detail design, we provide five features that uh, for uh, user interface. The first is the first is battery registration. The second is sensor registration. The third is report broken sensor. The fourth is to update machine status. And last but not least is that operating hours. For our test cases, for the first is we register battery detail to the system database. As you can see, the test input expected result for criteria and penalty criteria. And for the second test cases, uh, trigger the warning alarm when the operating hours meet the specified condition. So for my reflective uh, of this project, the first is uh, improve teamwork skills. I learned a lot of new skills and abilities while working on this project, which encouraged a spirit of cooperation among us. The second, uh, manage time wisely. I improved myself so that I could accomplish this project work with other participants on time. And the third, uh, learn from mistakes. When I make mistakes, my teammates were always uh, there to point me in the right direction. Uh, for my reflectives, uh, I learned that to communicate with teammates, which is I have learned that most of my most of my teammates really give uh, give a really good idea that at the same time it will always uh, I will always ask them whenever I didn't manage to understand their idea. And secondly, is to appreciate other people's effort. My teammates always encourage me to I will always speak out any idea that I have. Okay, next is module two, which is factory monitoring use case diagram. Okay, as you can see on the diagram, there is three actors, which is Ministry of Environment and Water, CO2 sensors, and also the system. You can see the relationship between the use cases. Next is the class diagram for module two, factory monitoring. So there is five entity with their own relationship, that which are CO2 sensors, user government, factory prediction, and also factory sensor. 
Next is the detailed design for module two, factory monitoring, which is the GUI. So the first GUI is that we can view current carbon dioxide emission through the website. Next, we can view factory's contact information and then notify if there is any exceeding carbon dioxide emission. Okay, next is test cases. So the first case, the first test cases for module two is that we can view current carbon dioxide emission for each factory. And then the second one is that we will notify the Ministry of Environment and Water when there is exceeding amount of carbon dioxide emission. Okay, and last but not least is my reflective. So the things I have learned from this project is that I have learned that every challenge can be taken as room to improve yourself. I have learned that every project should be planned earlier so that we can produce a better result. Next, I also learned how to apply the knowledge learned during the lecture by doing this project. Furthermore, I have learned the importance of teamwork, skill development, and also leadership in software engineering. Last but not least, I learned to communicate with my team to be able to understand each other's ideas and perspectives. Hello, so now I will talk about the module 5, which is uh, the administrative reporting. So here is the case diagram for module 5. So as we can see here, there are three actors, which is Ministry of Environment and Water, System and Factory Manager. And as you can see here, these are the relationship and the connection between this actor uh, in this uh, use case diagram. Next, uh, the detailed design for module 5. So uh, for module 5, we have uh, five features. The first one is to view overall reports on carbon dioxide, CO2 emission. Next, um, view the, manage the information on the eco-friendly product. And then the risk for admin point of view. And then manage the list of all idle projects that can be removed in each of the factories. Next, view the condition of the sensor used by each of the factories, which is the sensor condition are good or not. And the last one, collect feedback about the system from the users. So next. Right. So here is uh, the test case for module five. So the first one, I choose the view of reports on the carbon dioxide CO2 emission. So we can see here the test input, the expected result, pass criteria and field criteria. Next, uh, the second test case for module five, which is the view the condition of the sensor used by each of the factories. So as I said earlier, there are two uh, conditions which is good and bad, and these are the expected result, pass criteria, and the fall fail criteria. And so uh, this, this is my reflective reflection of my uh, experience in this project. So I can improve my communication skills as we um, uh, work in a group to, to provide the deliver output, uh, desired output. And next, I can enhance my management skills, which I can uh, make an effective planning with my teammates before proceed with the system development process. And the last one, I can challenge myself to make a better planning in this project because it is, uh, of course, it is hard uh, to plan alone. But when I work in a team, I could uh, work well. So for my module, it is authority supervision. So here yeah, is the use case diagram. So we got three actors, which is factory manager, head of manufacturing department, and Ministry of Environment and Water. So next is the class diagram. So this is the class diagram. So next is the is the features. So we have uh, six features, which is approval of material exchange, ten sensor enforcement warning, manage staff database, deploy staff for factory inspection and then notify factory for inspection. And finally, we have update status condition after inspection. Okay, so these are the test cases. So the first one is the deployment of staff for factory inspection. So this is the test input that we need to put. So the next one is the to notify the factories for inspection. And here is my reflection. So the first one is to discover tools for UI design. So I'm able to make use the tools in the internet to produce a good UI system. So now the next is the time management. So it is important for me to manage time properly by allocating the right duration for each task. And finally, it's the importance of clarifying unknown areas for better understanding of each task. Thank you. Okay, so the last module 
is module four, which is eco-friendly material management use case diagram. So next, uh, in use case diagram, we can see there are five actors, which is project manager, scientist, geologist, Ministry of Environment and Water, and lastly, the head of manufacturing department. And we can see the relationship between those actors and the use case list in this box. And next, uh, this is the class diagram for module four, eco-friendly material management. And here we can see there are user factory, application form, list of material, record form, material, form status, and user government. So next, and uh, here we add the detailed design for module four, eco-friendly material management. And the first feature is view list of material. And second is apply permission for material exchange. And next is add new material. And fourth is send email to user. Fifth and last is watch status of factory registration. Uh, watch status of sensor registration. And watch status of material exchange application form. And they also watch new material discovered or develop. So the test case is this is the test case for view list of eco value materials and you can see that there are three test input and there are also three aspect results. And next is apply for permission for the exchange of raw materials and we can see there are six test input and this is the expert result mass criteria and fail criteria. And in the reflective uh, based on this project Based on the assignment, I learned how, how to respect other perspectives. Even if it seems contrary to my opinion, pay attention to other people's viewpoints. And next is punctuality. It is crucial to do the assignment assigned to us before the deadline. And lastly, share problems. Ask for feedback from other group members when we run across issues that are too challenging for us to solve on our own. So that's all from us. And thank you.